Hello, welcome to today. It's a miserable day. It's 45 instead of 15, and I guess that's good, but complete, complete overcast, just ugly. So, went to classes today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy all these books. Here's all your stuff you got to do this semester. Bloody freaking die. You know, today was the harder day, and it's actually not going to be too bad because what my, I said yesterday, Mondays and Wednesdays will be longer. Well, the professor today said that Wednesdays, we don't need to attend to one of the Monday, Wednesday classes. So instead of being three Monday, three Wednesday, it'll be three Monday, two Wednesday. So only my Mondays will have three classes. So that's not too bad. Right now, I, I sat down in class today and when they were done going over the syllabus and just asked us to read through stuff, I made a little um, document in, uh, in the notes app on the Mac with things I needed to do. And I'm gonna to try to knock as many as I can out today. Uh, I've ordered two of the books. I'm on my way to get the car e-checked. Um, I'm gonna to try to get a haircut before they close in an hour and 24 minutes. And I can't ship my package because I don't have his address yet. So I may not get that done, but I'm gonna to try to do a lot of other stuff. <laughs> Got a dentist appointment just for a normal scheduled cleaning on Thursday. Got to go to Dave Walter probably Thursday or Friday. Got to put away Grandma's Christmas decorations. Those are all things I won't get done today. It's going to be a busy week. So in select Ohio counties, your vehicle has to go in for emissions testing. Keeps the air clean, supposedly. Summit County, where I reside, has City of Akron in it. Cuyahoga County has Cleveland. All the big counties with the bigger cities have to do this, and it sucks having a vehicle registered in such a county. I don't have any lights on, which is good, but they will see that it's been on fairly recently. So then they'll have to run around their little shop here and scurry until they find four things that uh, they can put in my four exhaust pipes, um, and then they'll manually put the thing, put the car in a rolling road and drive it up to like 40 miles an hour or something and analyze what comes out of the tips. So hopefully that's clean enough. Uh, if not, then we're going to have to get creative. You know, it's an old car with a lot of miles. I don't know what kind of stuff it's burning. I know it burns some oil, but that's normal with an old car. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, after the rolling road, the wheel speed sensors very quickly notice that the rear wheels are turning and the fronts are not, so then it freaks the computer out. It'll turn on DSC, brake, and ABS, and those will be on for about probably 15 minutes, and then it'll see that it's working normally. Freaked me out last time, now I'm expecting it. So I'll let you know what happens. So the first thing they do is with an inspection mirror, they check to make sure that your catalytic converters are still there. Lady just walked under there with the mirror and put it under the car and uh, looked for cats. And uh, yeah, that's good. I still have those. <laughs> So like 40 minutes later, we're done. I don't understand how it constantly takes them so long to do that. That's a Chevy Aveo up there, probably a solid eight years newer than this M5 is. It failed, the M5 passed. How does a new Chevy Aveo, newer, newer, fail? And my 182,000 mile M car that burns oil passes. I don't know, but I, that, that's cool. I don't have to do it again for two more years now. And I don't even have any lights on this time. So, took him forever, but she passed. That's good. Hey guys, um, okay, so I got my hair cut. We got the car e-check passed. After the haircut, Colt said he was in Hudson doing something, wanted to get a bite to eat. I was 50 feet away, so we headed into uh, Three Palms and uh, had some good pizza, really good pizza, actually. I was really hungry. And they always finish their full pizza, but I didn't today for whatever reason. So I guess I'll have myself a midnight snack or lunch tomorrow. Anyways, he's behind me. Um, we should probably give you a full update of what's going on with the car. So we'll do that in a minute, I think. But he ordered a new rear speaker since the strut, you know, when that broke, it went through the rear speaker and cocked that over. So he has a new one, but it's a 4 ohm not an 8 ohm that's found with DSP so we're gonna see if we can switch the speaker within the housing because it was only the housing that got broken I don't think we're gonna be able to do it because it's glued in but he thinks we can so I guess we'll let you know good morning uh, we're, we're back it's 12 18 a.m. 
Uh, we didn't film the 540 because it was raining and it was parked outside and we shut the garage door to keep the garage a little bit warmer. So we were actually able to move the eight ohm speaker. The housing was broken. So we moved the physical speaker into the new housing, which had a four ohm speaker. So we switched the speakers so we could use the new housing, put that in and it works. The other side doesn't work. We were hoping that the amplifier would see that one of them was not working and it would cut power to both rear mid ranges. Hoping that was the case. It wasn't. The other one's blown out. So for $17, we found an eight ohm speaker on eBay, free shipping, steel, hope it works. So he ordered that. So then the rear deck will go back together once that arrives, hopefully by the end of the week. His dashboard will also go back together, hopefully by Friday. Yes, Friday off by the end of the week when the new airbags come that have the right connection that will work in his car. So it's kind of stripped out right now, but hopefully by the end of the week, as I've said three times now, it will be back together. Anyways, um, today was productive with classes. I got my haircut done and I got the e-check done. Tomorrow I want to um, ship the packages that I was going to do. I got the address for that. so I should be able to do that. I've got to go to Dave Walter Wednesday and pick up another car part. Wednesday is going to be a big car part day. Uh, I have a dentist appointment Thursday, just a cleaning. That'll be fun. Detroit Auto Show Saturday. That'll be fun. Bunch of people coming in for that. It's going to be a little mini Timmy Fest gathering. Other than that, I'm going to go jump in the shower, get some sleep, do some YouTube, do some emails, get ready for classes tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be shorter, done at 1.45 tomorrow, so that's going to be nice. Tomorrow I have principles of microeconomics and social problems, business building and Merrill Hall. Jill, you probably know where those buildings are. So that's it. We'll talk tomorrow. It's probably going to be another cold, rainy day. We'll get it done. Keep working on this to-do list. Oh, I also got to go to the Kent State Bookstore. There was a line in there from here to Kennan's car in his neighborhood a mile that way. And I was not about to wait in that, so I'll try again tomorrow probably more like next week. Good night.